is getting interesting each passing day. Some cabinet secretaries who have just been served by William Ruto have started coming to terms with the reality that they are now jobless. We know some had to resign. They had been elected, but they had to resign to be appointed in William Ruto's government. One such person is Aden Duale. He was Garissa Township MP before he resigned to be appointed as CS in Ruto's government. Immediately after William Ruto dissolved the cabinet, Aden Duale had this to say, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency President William Ruto for entrusting me with the role of Cabinet Secretary for Defense in the first Kenya Kwanzaa administration. I am deeply honored and will forever be indebted to him and the people of Kenya for this opportunity to serve our great nation. As the Quran says, but they plan and Allah plans and Allah is the best of planners. Aden Duali, former cabinet secretary, defense. I don't know why Aden Duali has responded that fast, but it's very clear he has got a lot of pain in his heart. This is a man who resigned as an MP to be accommodated as a CS in Ruto's government because they have got some entitlement that they are William Ruto's friends and they campaign for William Ruto. So they feel they must and should be in Ruto's government. These are the individuals who made Ruto fail. And I'm very sure he's sharing out this to massage Ruto's ego. He's just trying to catch the attention of Ruto so that William Ruto can reappoint him in his new cabinet he's soon going to form. I strongly believe William Ruto should not fall for these easy and cheap tricks by some of these individuals. These are the people who have made him fail. In spite of the fact that William Ruto has been the problem, he has been incompetent. He also appointed people who are incompetent such as Adin Duane, and that's why this government has not been performing. So William Ruto should not fall for these easy tricks by these individuals who have made him fail. For William Ruto to get it right, he should put friendship aside. He should forget about those who campaign for him. Let him go for the best individuals. If he still looks in the direction of Akina Ade Duale, it's almost certain William Ruto will fail again. And let me also say this. The problem all along, in my honest opinion, has been William Ruto. Ruto from day one has been very, very incompetent. And because of that incompetence, he went for these incompetent people who could not challenge him. He wanted a yes some individuals. That's why he went for Akina Duale, Aisha Joma, Mithika Linturi, Moses Kurias. Root of fears competence. If he appoints competent people, he fears that they will outshine him because himself is not competent. So there is still a problem ahead. I don't know how William Ruto will manage this field of inferiority complex. He feels inferior, and that's why he went for these individuals who are also inferior. And again, if you look at exactly what has happened, I honestly believe that the dissolving of the cabinet is not the solution. The solution is in William Ruto resigning 
as Kenya's president. That will be the solution. A public office is not a private office. Where against all odds, you must still continue holding on to that office. A public office is not a private office. William Ruto should do the most honorable thing. Let him quit. Let Kenyans go back to elect new leaders who will serve their interests. I still don't, I'm still not convinced that even with a new cabinet, William Ruto will get it right. Already has failed, stakes are very high. And for these things to be solved amicably, William Ruto has no option but to resign. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. And now the dissolution of the cabinet is only going to increase the split between Ruto and his deputy. And uh, this, oh, this moment has provided a wonderful opportunity for Ruto to fix his deputy regarding the Chabwa. He has now just sacked Regadi's allies without fingers being pointed at him that is targeting people from the mountain. So yes, this protest and this mandamanos provided that wonderful opportunity for William Ruto to fix Regadi Gashawa. And again, if you look at some of the CSS, somebody like Ababu Namuamba for some few days, he has been in the headlines. Kenyans have been accusing Ababu Namuamba of sending his side chicks to Paris for the Olympic Games. So William Ruto should also be very careful on what type of people he's going to appoint in his cabinet. Let him go for the best men and women of integrity. But above all, just as I did explain in our earlier video, William Ruto upon forming the new cabinet, he should let those cabinet secretaries do their work. He should not be trying to micromanage everything because the past cabinet was a one-man show where William Ruto was pulling the strings behind the scenes. In his new cabinet, he should now let the cabinet secretaries perform without any interference. And that should also go to our judiciary. Martha Kome and the Supreme Court judges is now my considered opinion that they should also be sanitized. Kome and that bench of about seven judges, they should also go home because they are also a big letdown to Kenyans. And I've also seen Genesis now saying that even America's ambassador, Meg Whitman, should also be deported. If William Ruto is serious, he's sanitizing the country, letting do what Kenyans are saying. Kenyans are saying America's ambassador, Meg Whitman, has to go. The Supreme Court has to be sanitized. Kome and her team must and should go. If Ruto implements all that, then in one way or the other, he will be on the right trajectory. But above all, the main thing William Ruto should do is to resign. Kenyans have lost trust and confidence in him. And I don't think there is anything that will save him. He's still destined for destruction. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Aden Duale here is just trying to catch the attention of Ruto. He wants to massage Ruto's ego so that he can be appointed into the new cabinet William Ruto intends to appoint. William Ruto should not fall for those easy tricks. He should put friendship, candle, those who campaign for him, candle. That's the only way he might get a solution. 
Failure to that, I'm seeing he will eventually be sent to Hague because Kenyans are still demanding of him to go. Ruto must go. Let me stop him there.